We have our pot um, almost halfway full of the dandelions and we put it about two inches, um, we put about two inches more like higher of water in, um, in the pot with it. Uh, the flowers will rise, so if you want to hold it down or kind of eyeball it before putting the water in to know how much water to put in, that would be fine too. We're going to bring this to a simmer for about an hour. So here we have our strained um, dandelion uh, dye bath. Uh, we added um, one teaspoon of the alum and then half a teaspoon of the cream of tartar. And then we have some sp spruce root here that we're going to put in here, test it out. And 100% silk fabric. And we're going to try to add some baking soda for a modifier. It's already having a reaction. And it turned kind of a greeny color. And so it's been almost an hour, so we're gonna check the coloration um, on the items we put into the dye bath. This is a piece of silk. And it definitely looks like it, it looks pink. It took a beautiful little rosy tinge to it. There's some merino wool. <coughs> which took the color. I can't tell any color difference on the spruce. The silk really picked up a pink tinge to it and the merino took up a, uh, more of a creamy brown. Um, so the items on the right here are ones without baking soda and the ones on the left have baking soda. Um, this piece is a plain piece of commercially uh, dyed salmon skin. Um, so this is the what we put in before. The one from the non-baking soda is a little bit lighter in color, it didn't have quite as much of a color change, um, but it looks like the one with the baking soda took on kind of a bluish, greeny, gray hue um, that's really pretty. And this is what the back looks like, so you can kind of see that it's a little bit more pronounced. Um, and I really like the way this one came out. I think on, like if you take your own salmon skins at home, um, this color, because of the natural silver in the fish, might be really pronounced and really pretty. We also have the seal gut, um, same thing, non-baking soda, baking soda. Um, and those ones had less of a change as we've kind of seen with the gut. Um, but this one did, definitely took on kind of a yellow greeny hue. Being from Southeast and being Schlingat, I love Devil's Club. Um, and I have a yard full of Devil's Club because I live over by Kincaid. And every year at this time of the year, I make Devil's Club tips. So if you go out in the Devil's Club, you know, they get the, the leaf tips. You can snap them off before they get too pokey. And I just blanch them and I keep them in the freezer. They're good in quiche, they're good in gnocchi, they're good in lot in my mouth. Um, but every time I do it, I get this the stock that comes off the bottom. And so this one is the Devil's Club, and this one is Nettles, because I do the same thing with Nettles. And they get this really bright green, but the Devil's Club this year wasn't as green as it always is. And so I was like, what happened to my Devil's Club? Because I was gonna bring it here and show everybody, and I was like, really? That's so bad. Um, and then I was remembering, remembering the, the class, and I thought, well, I'm going to add some mod fire to it and see what it does. So I brought, I brought more. I brought more. So here's the... I made a lot of Devil's Club. I made a lot of Devil's Club. Um, so it, it, it was just that yucky color. And um, 
and so devil's club with soda so i added some and i'm gonna i'm gonna start with maybe a it, it took a while it took a while i'm gonna start with maybe a, a quarter teaspoon i don't know as last night my daughter and i were doing it and um um and it took a while. Well, we sat and debated it. I, you know, my, I have daughters that are more scientists than me. Um, and I ha I'm on a well, and our well's really, really hard. And so I've got it softened. Um, and for a long, it was, the, my softened water was killing all my plants because it's got that salt in it. And, and even though it says, oh, there's just trace amounts of salt, there's just enough trace amounts of salt that, um, that it ruins your plants. And so I thought, well, gall, I don't think I want to drink it either. So I changed it up to a potassium system. So instead of having the sodium in there, the salt in there, I've got potassium in there. And I think that's why my um, Devil's Club didn't change the right color. So I added some of this. I'm going to add one more scoop because it's making me bored. Um, so we did that and it started to change and then I went to bed. And then I got up this morning and what was in the bowl um, looked more like what the Devil's Club usually looked like. I, I brought a little bit of that. <laughs> so this is what the Devil's Club usually looks like. Mm -hmm. Can you pour it in that um, clear one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. That's what it usually looks like, which is why I was so disappointed. I said, oh no, I'm going to bring in this brown stuff. So. Um, and I don't know how it would do for dyeing, and that's why I brought it in. So maybe, maybe we should stick something in there and see what it looks like. Um, should I do one of these, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. It might not do anything. You never know. Oh, I think it will. But it's Somebody. awful green. Yeah. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think. I think it's got some potential. Wow. <laughs> so it was a pot about this size, and I had about this much water in it. And I had one of those drop in colander things, you know, that I dropped it in with. And I just left it rolling boil. And actually, I was taking them out with a, with a sieve scooper and just left the waters in. And you can see it's getting darker, but it takes it a while. I took it until this morning. I was going to say, cause that one. The other thing I did is I took it because we were, we were, it was midnight, so I was being really smart. Um, so we took some of it and put it in another bowl. I had two, three bowls. I had one with the regular, one that I put baking soda in, and one I put some um, lim lime juice in because I had a lime there to see because I was thinking it was pH. And the one with the lime juice went totally clear. Whoa. Yeah, and I said, well. <laughs> so acid wasn't the answer or acid, base was the answer? Base was the answer, yeah. And so here's, here's another thought. Um, this was the stuff, this looked like this. I mean, it came out of the same jug, right? And I poured it earlier, like about three hours ago maybe, yeah. when it was sitting here. And it, it has changed this much just from exposure to the air. So that one has no baking soda in mm -mm. it. No, this one, air. this one has just been air. And so and then I poured this one into here and then added the baking soda to it. And it still hasn't quite come up to this yet. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but so just for fun, should I stick this in the nettles? Sure. It's, it's from blanching out nettles the same way as, I, as the Devil's Club because I put those up for the, for the winter as well. The local nettles, stinging nettles, you've got, they're right there. There's some right there. Don't, don't pick them with your bare hands. Don't. Don't. So that was my next question. This is the nettles just straight as it came out of the pot a couple days ago. It's been in a jug for a couple days, but it's fairly green, and this is the one we just added the stuff to. Okay, you do a little bit in mm -hmm. this one. We're going back to green. So this is the plain Devil's Club stock that we have, um, and these two have the Morden in there.
And now we're going to experiment with adding um, the baking soda in one of them. We're going to start with this one. So this has the cream of tartar, alum, and now baking soda. Yeah, I think just letting it see because it could take anywhere from half an hour to overnight to change completely. Yeah, the cream of tartar and alum separated.